the side of the political aisle now for the view on that crisis. I'm joined by Republican Congressman Raul Labrador of Idaho. Congressman, welcome back. Thank you for having me on your show and good morning. So you've heard from uh, Secretary Jay Johnson of Homeland Security. You got to do by right, do right by the children. He said that's got to be a bottom line ideal here for the United States government. Is that how you see it? I do not. You know, as I was listening to Secretary Johnson's uh, interview, the first half of his interview, I kept thinking that you just need to change your slogan in, at the beginning of your show instead of if it's Sunday, it's meet the press. It's if it should be if it's Sunday, it's another administration official making stuff up and meet, meet the press. What is it that it's, he made it's up? It's really shameful. He made up a lot of different things. If you look at what he said, he said that the number one reason these children are coming to the United States is because of the violence in these Central American countries. The reality is that the violence has existed in these Central American countries for a long period of time. The level of poverty has existed in these Central American countries for a long period of time. But it's over the last two years that you have seen an increase in the number of children coming to the United States. He's saying that he's going to be able to stem it and it's not going to reach 90,000 or 60, between 60 and 90,000 uh, children. That's not going to happen. The own administration of uh, estimates are that it's going to be about 60,000 to 90,000 this year, that it's going to increase to 150 to 200,000 next year. These are their own estimates. And, and the, now they come on national TV and they say that they're doing everything they can to stem the flow, but that their number one priority is actually to make sure that, these, that we do right by these children. The thing this administration needs to do is immediately deport these families, these children. I know it sounds harsh. I know it sounds difficult. But they're creating a crisis at this time that is actually going to harm these children. These children, as, as your own reporting says, these children are going to come through the border. They're going to come from Central America. Many of them are being raped. Many of them are being harmed. This is an outrageous uh, thing that is happening to these children. And we need to actually take a strong stance against what's happening and against these illegal cartels. But but for those who are hearing you and saying, but you do sound harsh, that as a practical matter, uh, deporting these individuals, many of them children, to get back to Central America may not be uh, realistic, nor is it in keeping with what it means to be America. And for a lot of American families who think if they're fleeing something that's so awful, we've got to find a way to, to deal with this in a more humanitarian way. Just as we have 11 million or so illegal immigrants who are here now who have to be dealt with in a way other than just deporting them. You know, Americans are great people. I think they're willing to deal with the 11 million people if we feel that there's going to be border security. Right now, the, the frustration you see in Marietta, the frustration you see all throughout the United States is because they feel that this administration is doing nothing about border security. If we can feel safe in our homes, if we can feel safe in our homeland, if we can feel that we can actually... Uh, are going to be able to stem the flow of illegal immigration. I think the American right. people are. But well, let me just stop nice you for a second, Congressman. First of all, the, the, the frustration is not just with the administration, right? It is Congress. It is House Republicans who blocked immigration reform that came over from the Senate that you opposed. But it is also the issue of the law that is the law of the land was passed under the previous president that makes it a different way to treat those um, illegal migrants coming from Central America as opposed to Mexico. They have to be brought in and detained and put these through these proceedings. That is the law that Congress passed. That, that, that's a good point. And in 2008, the law was passed, and I think we need to change that law. We shouldn't be treating the children from Central America any different than we treat the children from Mexico and Canada. And I think that is something that I will join the administration in doing. I don't think we should be do doing that. But I think you need to realize that in 2008, the law was changed, and in 2009, there wasn't a huge major change in the number of children that came to, to the United States. In 2010, there wasn't a huge change, and in 2011, there wasn't a huge change either. And as soon as the administration in 2012 decided to do DACA, which is the Deferred Action Program, that's when the number of children started moving up. And that's because these criminal cartels in, South and, in Central and South America decided to start advertising that there was a free pass. I agree with Secretary Johnson that, that these children should not be allowed to stay, but even in his statements today, he, he wouldn't even answer your question whether we were going to deport these children or not. The best, safest message that we can send to Central 
Central America. If you want to let, let Central American families know that they're not going to be able to, they shouldn't be bringing their children to the United States, is by sending these children, uh, these children back in okay. a humanitarian way. We can do it safely. We can do it efficiently. All right, Congressman Labrador, as always, thank you very much for your views and for being here this morning.